Welcome to Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. In my last video, I showed how you can connect a Yamaha Disclavier piano to an existing Wi-Fi internet network. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to see it first before watching this one. Once you've seen that one, then we're gonna take it to the next step. Taking your Disclavier TV show and projecting it from your iPhone or iPad onto a big screen TV. Now to do so, we're going to need an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad, and we're also going to need an Apple TV, fourth generation preferably. Okay, once you have those components, let's get started. On the back of your Apple TV, plug in the power cord. Next, plug in one end of an HDMI cable. Plug the other end of the HDMI cable into an available HDMI port. Once you turn your television on and navigate to the HDMI channel that your Apple TV is connected to, you should see a screen like this. This is where we're gonna go through the Apple TV setup. We'll be using this remote that comes with your Apple TV. Now the top part of the remote is like a trackpad where you can navigate with your thumb and select different things. And to make a selection, simply push that trackpad and it'll click. So right now I'm gonna go through my language settings country, continue with the data and privacy issues, and then simply go through all these settings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. The most important setting we wanna do is to select the Wi-Fi network. It should be the same Wi-Fi network that your Disclavier is connected to as well as your tablet and your smartphone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select set up manually so that I can select the Wi-Fi network that I wanna connect with, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, select my Wi-Fi over here. Let's see, this is it over here. And I'm gonna go ahead, enter my password, and I'll be right back. After you enter your Wi-Fi password, you'll have the option to sign in with your Apple ID. If you wanna use your Apple TV to navigate through the iTunes library, buy movies, buy TV shows, things of that sort, you can use your Apple ID accordingly. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for right now. Go ahead and skip the step. Okay. I'm going to skip my TV provider for right now, but you can certainly go through all these options if you'd like. I'm going to say this is in my entertainment room, kind of an optional thing here. I'm going to go ahead and enable location services. It's totally optional as well. I'll skip over this over here. I'm not going to send anything to Apple. I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. All right, now we're in the main home screen of Apple TV, okay? Now before we continue, you need to turn on your Logitech Bluetooth audio adapter. So let's go ahead and get that set up. On your Logitech Bluetooth audio adapter, press the Bluetooth button to start the pairing process. If your disc clavier is on, you'll hear a confirmation tone sound through the speakers. Once you have your Logitech Bluetooth audio adapter set up to be paired, we're gonna go into our Apple TV home screen and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom row and then go to the far right into settings. Go ahead and click on that. Now we're gonna navigate down to remotes and devices. Click on that. We wanna make sure we go down to Bluetooth, click on that. Now you can see that it's recognizing the Logitech BT Bluetooth adapter as being available. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we're connected. Great, okay. Now by the way, to go backwards in your menu on your Apple TV remote, all you have to do is press the menu button and we can start navigating backwards. All right, now we're ready to start sharing whatever is on the screen of our smartphone or our tablet onto our TV going through the Apple TV connection. So let's go ahead and get that set up. So in my iPad, I'm gonna go into my Inspire app. Now I've got a couple of disc here at the store. I'm gonna go select the one that I'm gonna be using right now, okay? Go into disc TV. And now, one other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna share the screen of our iPad 
onto that large TV through Apple TV. The way we do that is we're going to swipe up from the bottom. You can see, if you swipe up slowly, you can see all these extra control panels. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to press this button that says screen mirroring. Now remember, we gave our Apple TV the name of the room. In this case, it says entertainment room. I'm going to tap on that. If you notice on the screen behind me, now I have the screen of my iPad being mirrored onto that large TV. Let's go back to our Yamaha TV, Discover TV website, and now I can start selecting some videos. So let's go ahead and select a video right now. Oh, right, so let's take a look at something from the Piano Guys. Here's a fun one from Frozen. Now, if you want to make this large screen, you want to tap on the icon to make this full screen on your iPad. Once that's on full screen, this will automatically project the full screen here, it'll black out over here, but the full screen will appear on the television. And there you have it, how to get your Yamaha Discover TV to stream onto your big TV and play your piano at the same time. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.